And now introducing Dr. Njakare Damages. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world, New York City. Oh, yeah. yeah. New York is so great that it's banning people from buying sugar drinks what? that are larger than their arms. Wow. But, but don't worry, don't worry. You are still allowed to carry as big a gun as you can. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know many of you are following. Mitt Romney has clinched enough delegates to win the Republican presidential nomination. What? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You don't seem to be excited. No. Just so you know, he's a Mormon. Hmm? I bet you don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it means he doesn't drink or smoke or oh, sing. Really? Or does he? Four spacious skies. Four amber waves of grain, four purple mountains, majesty above the fruited plain. America, America, God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from. <laughs> but he's allowed to, to, to tie his dog on the roof of his car and drive to Canada. Wow. Yeah, That's yeah, great. yeah. Well, Mitt Romney will square off with Obama right after Americans finish eating summer hamburgers. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, so in love it matters a lot who wins. You know, for Africans in America, they, they have to choose. It's a tough choice. Mm. Do you want to support the son of an African? Mm. Or do you want to support a man who understands the importance of polygamy? Oh, oh. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's like wind versus polygamy. That's right. I choose polygamy anytime. Hey. That, that's, that's me. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> After very careful consideration and in honor of Chief MKO Abiola's accomplishments and heroism. Mm. On this Democracy Day, the University of Lagos is renamed by the federal government of Nigeria, Moshud Abiola University. What? With those words, President Jonathan renamed University of Lagos after Moshud Abiola. Mm. Crisis followed immediately. Wow. Students of the university stormed the streets in Aluta. protest. Aluta. Aluta they blocked traffic going in and out of the university. What? When that did not work, they went out and blocked traffic on Todd Mainland Bridge in Lagos. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, the university authorities had no option but to close down the university for oh. two weeks. That was a strategic mistake on the part of the students. Yes. Blocking traffic on the first Mainland Bridge is okay. Okay. Even the second Mainland Bridge is acceptable. Yeah. Okay. But whatever you do, don't block traffic on the Todd Mainland Bridge. <laughs> It, it makes Ibrahim Babangida very, very angry. That's right, that's right. Many people misunderstood President jo Goodluck Jonathan's intention in renaming the university. Mm. Even our own Wale Shoinka came out swinging against the move. Mm. But when you really look at it, dispassionately, mm. yeah. when it comes to education, who should you trust? PhD. Is this Shoinka a dropout who made the class? Mm. Or Jonathan, a PhD holder? PhD. Uh, yeah. For me and my family, we are with Shoinka. <laughs> <laughs> Contrary to what people think, President Jonathan gave it a great thought before he chose to rename Unilag. Yeah, as a public service, we bring to you some of the top 10 beautiful things that will now happen as a result of that move. Wow. Yeah. Number 10. With the University of Lagos out of the way, Olusegun Obasanjo is now sure that when he dies, he's getting University of Ibadan renamed after him. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Number 9. Finally, the university gets a chance to claim that Sahara Reporter's publisher, Shuwere Omoyele, attended a university that is no longer in existence. Ooh. That's it. He cannot, he can never claim that he has a first degree anymore. No. Right. Fake degree, yeah. Number eight, Dele Momodo will now revive Wonder Bread. What? And deliver freshly baked loaf to every student for breakfast. Oh, yeah. Number seven, 
university professors do not need to farm anymore. Mm. They will now feed their families with Gary and Amala from Abiola Farms. That's right. <laughs> Number six, <laughs> yeah, a new international institute for good governance called ITT will be built at the Akoka <laughs> campus. <laughs> Number five, Deca Records will now post videos from students' parties on YouTube the morning after. What? Where we're not going to wait any longer. All you know. right. Number four, instead of cooking with granite oil, students of the university will now cook with summit oil. Summit. Wow. <laughs> summit. Yeah. Number three, the university students' newspaper will now be called Concord newspaper. Concord. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Number two, half of the students of the university are now qualified for scholarship because the university is named after their grandfather. Wow. <laughs> yes, yes. And the number one good thing that is now going to happen as a result of this change is that female students of the university can proudly call themselves Abiola Babs. Abiola Babs. Billionaire Mark Zuckerberg yes. is in Italy enjoying a honeymoon. Right. Oh. Facebook stocks did not get a chance to enjoy a honeymoon oh, yeah. before it went on a free fall. What? Oh, Still, no, we had no reason to question the genius of the founder of Facebook. That's right. Mm -hmm. That was until this week when he was caught on camera trying for hours to figure out how to use an Italian ATM machine. What? <laughs> it wasn't his inability to manipulate the machine that, that is scary. It was his audacity to put his PIN number in a machine <laughs> located in a mafia town. Like Lagos! <laughs> like Lagos. <laughs> if the National Assembly in Nigeria has its way, Nigeria will soon have 42 states. Wow. Eight more states, we will have the same number of states as the United States. Yeah. Mm. But do you know the reason why we're doing that? The reason is that Boko Haram is taking over more states in the north. Mm. And Jonathan wants to make sure that he retains statistics. states. Mm. So the more states that Boko Haram takes, the more he creates. Mm. <laughs> Former Liberian leader Charles Teller mm. was given 50 years in prison what? at the Hague. Yeah, he was convicted of aiding and abetting crime against humanity. Wow. He was found guilty of murder, mm. rape, Sexual slavery, mm. enforced amputation, mm -hmm. and trusting Olusegun of Basanjo. Oh, yeah. Oh, poor Charles, poor Charles. All his efforts to rope in George W. Bush as another leader, equally guilty of war crime against humanity, failed. Mm. Let that be a lesson to you all. Mm. Always put the diamond in a separate pocket. Don't mix it up with the blood or with amputated arms. <laughs> that, that's not good. That's not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Governor Adam Oshomole of Edo State mm. wants News of the People magazine to pay him 200 million naira for publishing damaging stories about him. What? Oh, yeah. The magazine claimed that the grieving governor impregnated a young girl just okay. six months after his wife died. Wow. No. How preposterous. I think the governor deserves one billion naira for damages. Yes, That's right. Though. The That's fact right. that governors have immunity from prosecution is not a reason for journalists to write nonsense about them. That's right. I mean, does the magazine want the governor to impregnate an old woman? <laughs> <laughs> what is the problem with these journalists? Right. Right. Obviously, they have not tried to impregnate an old woman. Mm. Otherwise, they will know how difficult it is. But for those of you who wonder where the damages came from, <laughs> the damages came from the magazine counting how long ago his wife died. Mm. Did they count how long it took Pastor Kumuyu to remarry after his wife died? No, no, no they didn't. That's right. In a similar story, Charlie Boy is threatening to sue Saturday Mirror newspaper for yeah. publishing that he's gay and also the head of a dangerous secret cult in Nigeria. He's gay. Wow. That's it. I think this one is an easy case. Yes, sir. Charlie Boy will soon find out that boys are not allowed to sue magazines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is one. The other thing is that 
I have looked at Charlie Ball and I'm very sure that he's an alien from outer space. <laughs> That should worry him more than being gay. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. The governor of Lagos State, Babatunde Fashola, has taken himself out of contention for the 2015 presidential election. I don't think that is good for our democracy. That's right. I suspect that some people want President Jonathan to be returned to office unopposed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When asked why he declined to, to run, Governor Fashola said it was a doctor's order. Oh, okay. So it was a price. You see? That's the price you pay for sucking 1,000 doctors overnight. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do something that horrible? They get, back, they get back to you by writing in their next prescription. <laughs> Some weeks ago, we declared Pastor Sign Fireman a wayward pastor. Mm, right. We now want to make a correction. Mm. This week, the yellow loving pastor healed Nollywood legendary actor, yeah. Enebeli Elebowa. Mm. The actor had stroke and had not been able to walk for weeks. Hey. Wow. And then Pastor Fireman came in, and he stood up and walked. Hallelujah. You watch. Wonderful, wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not like you should Excuse me, excuse me. Hello? Huh? Uh-huh. I, I, I'm in the studio. I'm, I'm recording a show. Ah, okay. Okay, all right. Thank you. Um, well, it turns out that it was all staged. Whoa! Yeah. The actor is saying now that he was not healed. He was yeah. not? He's calling Pastor Fireman a fake, a 419 pastor. Wow. I won't go that far, you know. Hey. All I know is that all the hot girls in Lagos attend Pastor Fireman's church. Except, Except you. <laughs> <laughs> A new biography of Alahaji Aligo Dangote is out. Mm. In an advanced copy we received, the richest black man alive said that money is not everything. Mm. Yeah, so It's not everything. No, mm. no, no. His real goal is to instead own everything in Nigeria. What? <laughs> what he did not add is that he won't stop until every child in Nigeria is named after him. <laughs> <laughs> A woman trying to get the attention of Don Jersey sent her nude pictures to the music star. What? Oh, yeah. It turned out that the Don Jersey's account, tweet account that she sent it to, was the fake one. Whoa! Well, now her picture is all over the internet. Whoa. Poor woman. You know, something like that happened to me some time ago. Oh, As a comedy star, I once got a picture of this woman who wanted to get my attention, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Though not as mouth-watering as the one Don Jersey got, but I, I don't mind. You watch. Compare the two. Watch. <laughs> I now leave you with this only in Nigeria story. This week, Lagos State launched a traffic radio station. Its goal is to tell you what to expect on the roads. For instance, if there is an accident on Third Mainland Bridge, you can go to the island through the Second Mainland Bridge. And if there is an accident on the Second Mainland Bridge, you can go to the island through the First Mainland Bridge. It sounds simple. Now listen to what happened when I called the hotline. I'm calling you from Sahara Reporters. We want to talk to you about uh, the first subsidy debate uh, on our show on Saturday. Hello, I uh, can't hear you. Hello, Minister. This is Shore Omoyele of Sahara Reporters. Can you hear me? No, I can't hear who it is. Hello? Yes. Person has been calling and calling. Hello? Yes, I'm, uh, we are calling... That's it for the show. Until next week, I diagnose. 
You heal yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.